fully loaded luxurious Volvo Marco Polo bus bearing the inscription Guo Oke Motors was intercepted by armed bandits early Wednesday. According to an eyewitness, the bus that was traveling from Oweri in Imo State to Abuja unfortunately ran into the waiting hands of the Daredevil's armed bandit just after the Enna River before Okeo Sand community along Ewato to Ubiaza Express Road at about 1.20 a.m. this morning, which is on Wednesday. 123 passengers, including the driver, were kidnapped and then taken into the forest, while the remaining two escaped into the bush through the windows of the commercial bus before being rescued by a hunter around 5 a.m. this morning. At the moment, there is no clue as the whereabouts of the kidnapped victims, the source say, and there is also no rescue team from any quarter. What is your thoughts to this? We have seen another situation happening presently in Nigeria, still on the issue of insecurity. Imagine the way this luxurious bus that is full loaded, fully loaded is being attacked by armed bandits and over 123 passengers were kidnapped and they were taken into a bush where it's unknown to anyone. What is your reaction to this? What is your thoughts concerning this present situation? As we can see, insecurity has been fighting with Nigeria you know, on a very strong term. They have been on this issue for a very long time and we just hope that this issue of insecurity does not continue in Nigeria because if it does, just imagine what will become of Nigeria in the later days if insecurity continues to bedevil in Nigeria. All these things and even similar things have happened before and have continued to happen and will still continue to happen if the government of Nigeria failed to do the needful concerning this. You know, we wouldn't blame people that are agitating for the breakup of this country. Because just imagine how these people were being kidnapped, they were in the bus. So now traveling from one place to another now, you have to be very, very careful because nobody knows who will be the next target. Nobody knows as these people left their houses, nobody knew he or she will be kidnapped. What is your reaction to this? All these people have families. They have their destinations. What becomes of them? Nobody knows their whereabouts. We would like you to let us, you know, see your own reaction to this. What do you think can be done to help the present situation of Nigeria now? As we can see, poverty is eating up Nigeria. Insecurity is eating up Nigeria. Unemployment also have contributed to Nigeria, you know, Nigeria situation. And poverty, unemployment, this major, you know, two things have really contributed immensely and the present insecurity we are facing in this country because most of these people that are terrorizing Nigeria, these people, they are youths. And it has been said that an idle hand is a devil workshop. When you are idle, when you don't have something doing, that is when evil thoughts will come to you. That is when evil friends will lure you into something bad and you wouldn't have a choice. And that is what is really affecting us presently in Nigeria. Instead of the government of Nigeria to borrow money to create infrastructures in this country that could create job employment opportunity for the youth, we have thousands of youth graduating every year and yet we have limited job employment opportunity in Nigeria. That is why we have been having high level and high rate of criminality in Nigeria, high rate of banditry in this country. Criminal activities is nothing to talk home about in this country. As we can see, Nigeria is not developing in terms of infrastructure, but it is developing, you know, rapidly when we talk about insecurity. So many things are really happening and people fighting for the breakup of this country are also being tackled by the government of Nigeria because they are going against probably the wish of the nation. But the nation itself is not doing something of which the citizens want. The masses of Nigeria, they don't have a say. The minority don't have a say. 
we would like you to let us know your thoughts concerning this pen development. We would like you to share on point of view with us via the comment section on this. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the current situation of things in Nigeria. Guests here reacted to this and said, Northerners are the problems we have today in this country. How far shall we live in this country? How far shall we continue to live in this evil state? What is your thoughts to you, you know, to this that has been said? We have heard what guests have just said. That Northerners are the problems we have in this country. How long do you think we can continue to live in this country? How long do you think we can survive in those evil states? Series of things are really happening. We just hope that we overcome this present situation because if all these challenges, we don't overcome them, what do you think will probably become of Nigeria in the nearest years? Well, we would like you to let us know your thoughts on this. And one unfortunate thing, you know, that everybody has been complaining about is despite the present situation of things in Nigeria, despite the security situation we have in this country, could you believe that our leaders are still concerned about the 2023 presidential election, not minding if the people are in the right frame of mind to vote during the election? It is so unfortunate. Well, who would like us to drop your thoughts on this pain development? Well, let's move forward and see what other people reactions about this. El Matoski reacted to this and said, Wow, things are really happening in this country. But come to think of it, how do you think it could be possible for over 123 people to be kidnapped and all of them will be moved into the bush? We are talking about human beings here. They are not, you know, beings. They are human beings. How do you think it's possible for this, you know, kidnappers to match over 123 able bodies, men and women, into the bush without, you know, people escaping. Only two of them were able to escape, even through the window of the bus. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this? That how manage were the, you know, kidnappers able to match over 123 able bodies, men and women, into the bush without traces. What is your reaction to this? What is your thoughts to this present situation of things? Well, who would like you to share your thoughts with us on this? Do you think that it is not possible for these kidnappers to match over 123 able bodies into the bush? Or do you think there could be something wrong, you know, in this present situation? Ulo, you will agree with me, pardon? That the present situation of things in Nigeria is calling for more concern than what is being given. Well, we would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this. Don't forget that bandits have intercepted a GUO luxurious bus coming from Oweri, and over 123 passengers were being kidnapped. We would like you to share your own point of view with us on this plan development. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.